Hello Keys, Andy Lip here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial and today we're taking a look at one of my favourite topics, voice modulation, but this time no need for voice mod or anything like that, this is all done internally inside OBS using replugs, you've probably already got that if you've seen my EQ video, if not you can see it up here or in the description below, but we're going to be taking a look at making your voice maybe sound a little bit like this. Oh, listen to me, I'm really handsome and deep, yeah. Or you can make yourself sound a little bit like this. Ooh, I'm a guitar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if you know the track, let me know in the comments section below. But before we get into it, make sure you do like the video and also subscribe. I've got tons of tutorials that are going to be coming your way and loads of stuff on the channel already. So make sure you do help out the channel. Okay, guys, put your rock over the stone. Let's just get on with it. Right, so just before we get into this, we need to get it installed. So if you've not got Replugs already installed, we're just going to jump to the website just here. The link is in the description down below. It's just reaper.fm forward slash Replugs. And there's two little download links in the middle, depending if you need 32-bit or 64. Everyone's pretty much 64 nowadays. This is the 21st century. Let's go. Um, so we're going to download 64-bit just here. It's a very small file, a little exe in there. I'm just going to open that, hit agree to everything. And these are all the different plugins that are Available in this feature uh, feature set. So we've got the compressors, we've got noise gates, we've got EQs. I mean, a lot of this uh, OBS already has some pre-installed, but you might want to try these out as well. The one that we definitely want is the ReJS. That is what's going to allow all the crazy effects. Hit next, and we're going to install it to Program Files, VST Plugins, Replugs. That is, should be just standard. Hit install, and it will get it all installed for you. I'm going to hit cancel because I've already got it, so I don't want to cause any issues for this video. Hit OK. Make sure you've restarted OBS, so if you've already got it open, just turn turn it off, close it, restart it, you know what to do. I'd even restart your computer, because that'll just, like, that's the best thing to do. After installing anything, just restart your computer. Do it, it takes two seconds nowadays. So make sure you've got some sort of audio ready to, to put the effect onto, so I'm going to put mine onto this microphone that you can see just here. We're going to hit the cog and press filters. You can see I've already got a couple of things set up right now for this video. We're just going to press the plus sign and we're going to open up the VST 2.x uh, plugin. Press that. I'm going to call this deep because I'm going to show you how to do a deep voice that you saw at the beginning of the video. Go to select a plugin. ReJS. If you're not seeing any of these Reaper plugins at all, it means you've not installed it correctly. So I, I would recommend try reinstalling it. Make sure you restart your computer too. Open that and we're going to press open plugin interface. So it is a very blank kind of sheet just here with nothing on it at all. So we're just going to press load and you'll see a ton of different effects and different things that you can mess around with. I'm going to show you the deep voice first. So I'm going to go to pitch and I'm going to use super pitch. Even though there's octave up, octave down, you can play about with all of these. They all have so many different settings as well. So in super pitch, you'll see my voice still sounds the same. But as I start fiddling about with this... You'll see my voice changes. So for that deep effect, all I did was pull it down one octave. And that is it. I'm deep. That's all you need to do. Just one octave down, and then obviously any time that this is pressed, that's when the effect is going to be on. But because I've just changed it, it, it won't be on there. So the next one that I'm going to show you is that distortion, just so you can uh, do that as well. So VST plugin, I'm going to call it distortion. Just there. And I'm going to go to ReJS again, open that plugin interface, press load, and you'll see there's guitar effects in there. So if you do want to put this on your guitar, if you're using like an audio interface and you, you plug your guitar in, you can apply effects in a very lightweight way that's not going to impact your uh, CPU too much, which is the, the best thing about this. And then we're going to go to, I use Distort Fuzz for that one. As soon as I press it, you can see it's changed my voice. And you can mess about with all these, whether or not you want your dry um, vocal or anything like that. Put it in stereo. It's a very interesting kind of thing. You just play about with them. There's so many different settings that you do with it all. But that's pretty much all there is to it. It's just ReJS, and I don't see many videos uh, on that. People are using stuff like Voice Mod and other... 
third-party software and I just think it's a lot easier to manage your whole stream just via one app then you don't have to mess about with the audio routing and maybe causing a bit of delay between your microphone and the stream and stuff like that just run it all straight through OBS and then you can use your stream deck or Leorum board to control the filters or even set them up as channel point rewards and different things like that you can check out my videos on how to do that just up there so hopefully you've learned something if you have please make sure you do drop a cheeky little like on the video also subscribe because and if you've got any questions or anything just let me know in the comment section below and i will make a video on it okay guys put your rock over the stone i'll see you in the next one much love